rock and roll, the aesthetic that I am probably the most comfortable with. I am so excited for today's video. So if you guys have been following us, uh, we did post a haul video of the Pure Times Trolls World Tour box set. I bought that on Memorial Day. They were doing 35% off if you spent over $100. So for the box set, which retails at $98, I spent around 62 for it. In that, it included five eyeshadow palettes, uh, mini eyeshadow palettes. They are smaller. I'll show you guys the one that we'll be using today. It is this little man right here and it does come with six colors. So they are definitely smaller eyeshadow palettes, but still I think they retail full price at like $18 a piece um, on sale. I've seen them at like 12. Um, and then you get a face palette with a highlighter, a blush and a bronzer and you get a lip gloss as well. Plus it comes in this really cute package record type box. Uh, lots of plastic. Yes, but uh, I plan on saving mine so I can kind of look past that because it won't end up in a landfill. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, basically what we've decided to do with that box set is test each one of the eyeshadow palettes and make a whole theme out of it, including an outfit, a full aesthetic, everything um, that I would personally wear if I were dressing for this particular type of music. Some of them will be more challenging. This one today was probably the easiest because uh, if I had to choose an aesthetic that fit me the best, uh, rock would be that one. So uh, obviously by the name of our channel, Dark Angel Beauty, you probably picked that up. Uh, I am excited about the, uh, the World Tour rock palette. That is what the front of it looks like. Inside, they're actually colors that I wouldn't normally gravitate towards. As much as I love dark things, I normally go for like more reds, pinks, purples in terms of eyeshadow, but I really love this palette, probably because it does give you a really nice matte red shade along with the black shade. And then you get those gorgeous gunmetal silver and lighter silver sh shimmer shades. And I just, I think there's a lot of potential of a really cool eye look for this. I will be using the bronzer again. I used, yesterday's video was the pop look. I used all three in the pop look because uh, the pop was pink based. So the pink uh, blush worked well with it. The highlighter is a lighter shade, which is probably pretty neutral, but I do want to do a different highlighter today. I was shocked that I liked the bronzer as much as I did. It does have shimmer in it. I don't normally choose that because I use it as contour instead of bronzing, but I liked it enough to, to go ahead and say I was going to use it again today. So that's the only one I will be using in this video. I did pick out another blush shade and another highlighter shade. So I'm going to do uh, all of those really quickly. I will show you guys the bronzer and then I'll probably turn off the camera and just do the other stuff uh, off, off screen. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bronze really quick just to uh, to show you guys what that looks like. So that's what it looks like without any blending or anything. I really think it's a really beautiful kind of universal color. Um, it's definitely, I say universal, it's definitely a lighter shade. Don't know how it would work on darker complexions, but I think it does uh, a good job for somebody who's light skin like me to be able to go in and contour with it. And then if you're using it as bronzer, I'm sure you can get some decent color out of it. Um, but I was very surprised. I really wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. So I, that was that was a nice, pleasant surprise. Now I'm gonna do more of a, a harder look for uh, everything else I'm gonna do. This kind of dark purple blush. I'm gonna do probably a mix of this purple and I'm thinking this kind of peachy pink color uh, for my highlighter. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I will show you guys the finished face product and then we will jump into uh, the eyeshadow. Okay, so I went ahead and finished up my face. I did choose a very pigmented uh, highlighter, if you guys can see on my nose. Hopefully it's pretty reflective. I can see it in the camera, so I'm assuming it's gonna show up on film. Uh, but I wanted to do that. I, for whatever reason, I just love like to make like grunge metal looks really shimmery, and I don't know why. It's just me, sorry. But anyway, so that's why I chose that. Now, what I did with the pop palette was I kind of gave you guys a breakdown of what my game plan was. So let's do the same thing with this one because I'm all about continuity. We've got these really six beautiful colors. I am thinking what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go in with a really wide base of this one, followed by a little bit of a tighter, but still wide base with the red. Uh, the outer corner is going to be done with black. We're going to use gunmetal in the center of the eyelid. We're going to use this probably on the edges, not quite the inner corner because I think I can use all of the colors and use this white shimmer as the inner corner and then um, the brow highlight. So let's jump into it. Now that we're all on the same page, let's go team. All right. Like I said, we're going to start with the brown. I really like that brown uh, as a, a blending shade. I don't know how it's going to actually wind up playing on the eye, but I think just giving a really nice base with it kind of gives it a little bit of a shadow effect, but uh, hopefully won't be too dark. And that's, that's kind of exactly what it's doing right now. Just giving it a little bit of dimension almost like a contour effect, but still is very neutral. Yeah, pretty color, I like it. 
I came in a little bit heavy around this area, but that's, I don't mind it. It's just as long as I can do it on the other eye too, because that's always my biggest thing is like, all right, I can live with that on this eye. And then on the other eye, it'll be like completely neutral. And I'll be like, <sighs> looking good. I like it. It, like I said, it, I don't know how well it's playing on camera. I can see it in my mirror, but it is very neutral. It's not very abrasive. Kind of exactly what I was hoping would happen with this color. So we're gonna go in with the red now. The red is mainly matte, but it does have just like a touch of glimmer in it in the light. But I think it's going to make a really nice kind of like wide blending shade just to kind of go in with that brown. Oh yeah, the brown did a really great job of neutralizing it. So it's not really harsh red, but it gives you that little bit of like berry color. I really like that. That is one of my favorite things about Pure as a company is I really, I've said this in probably all of the videos I've done with them. I really feel like they do a great job of making buildable shades. Buildable shades is incredibly important for me and especially somebody who's not quite comfortable with makeup. It just makes it a lot easier to blend it out. So that's why I always um, talk about how much I love Pure because when, when I was first getting into makeup and stuff like that, and less comfortable with it. They were always super easy to work with. There's something to be said for that. That means it's a good formula in my opinion. You ever think like the, the preliminary makeup was like people smashing berries and rubbing it on their faces? Do you ever just like think about that sometimes? But the camera's not gonna answer. <laughs> Does the camera answer you, Nikki? <laughs> They didn't, sm well, they didn't sm what, what did they do? They smashed them and then they rubbed it on their faces. Yeah, they smashed berries. They put smash berries. They didn't smash berries. They didn't like squish strawberries on their eyes. I'm not interested in talking to you anymore. <laughs> Wow, black is super pigmented. So black eyeshadows, if you guys have watched me for a while, you probably know my feeling on it. Just not a big fan. I don't know why. I just always feel like it looks like really messy when I do it. This one picked up really well, but it's actually going on super light. I'm not sure if it's because I've already applied makeup in that area. And so it's just going in a little bit lighter and then you can layer it up. It is, it's light though. Like it's definitely lighter than I was expecting it to be. Not a bad thing. I would rather it be lighter than like super dark, just in my opinion. Some people would totally disagree with that, but that's just how I feel in terms of how I like my makeup to look. So not, not a bad thing. It's, it's actually coming off more like a gunmetal gray. Yeah, definitely more of a gunmetal gray, which is shocking because it really, I really felt like it picked up on the brush so beautifully. Interesting. I, if you're looking for a highly pigmented black color, I would not recommend this this particular one for you. If I'm just being honest, um, it's, it is, it's coming off more of a gray than I was expecting it to. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean up my eyes. I'm going to go in, I'm going to conceal uh, basically to this look where I put the black in, just kind of conceal over here. That way the gunmetal shade hopefully really pops. I did not do that yesterday with the pink palette and I regretted it. So we're gonna do it today. Um, and then we're gonna do uh, all of our highlights and everything on camera so you guys can see that. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I did go ahead and clean it up, kind of exaggerated a little bit. I did blend it out a little bit with my face brush, like what I'm doing right now. Never too much blending in my opinion. So we've got this uh, this kind of base right now. We're gonna go in with the glitter shades. And I'm gonna start with the gunmetal. I'm gonna use a brush because I think that that's going to work better than using my finger, but I may readjust if I find that it's not picking up as well as I was hoping it would. Um, but I'm gonna go in with a tight brush and I'm just gonna get a little bit of the gunmetal, which seemed to pick up really nicely if you guys can see that hopefully. And I'm just gonna, I was like not even slightly expecting that, but holy crap, wow, okay. Oh, I had such high hopes for that color and it just absolutely blew them away. Like I am so excited about this one. This is gonna definitely be. So part of part of what I said yesterday at the end of the first video was that I want to rank the palettes because you can buy them separately. So I want to give you guys an idea of which ones I think are best. The pink one was underwhelming for me just because I feel like I have a lot of those colors. There wasn't like a great exaggeration between them. It was still a good palette. If you don't have a lot of pink palettes, it might be something that you would look into getting. But like, oh my, okay, this one's definitely ahead of this one. If nothing but for this gunmetal shade, it is just absolutely beautiful. It is applying so smoothly. I'm barely having to like press down on the palette to pick it up. There is fallout on the palette. I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, there has been a good amount of fallout on so far all the palettes I've used, but it's really like, like I hope you guys can see just how absolutely 
devastatingly beautifully pigmented it is. All right, I'm gonna blend it out just a touch. Okay, I'm gonna go in now with that lighter gray shade. I think that's going to play really nicely kind of in here. And then I think on the, the under and the inner corner down here, I'm going to do uh, that pink shade and do that up top too. And then we're gonna see how it looks with mascara on. Um, I really like this palette. I really like it. It would not be the one that I would buy separately if I if I hadn't bought the bundle set. Just to be honest, because I really don't go for the the black shades and all of that. With this palette, I say black shades is because there's one of six shades black. So that's why I kind of go, oh well, that's not really my style. Oh. oh my gosh, do you guys see? Like, I hope you can see just how absolutely beautiful the glitter is is applying. It's so nice. The two gray shades really play well with each other. I really, I'm, I'm so, I'm so excited about this. Okay, I keep getting distracted by how, how pretty the shade, the shades are. I really do. I'm, I apologize for that. This is that last light shade now. It's also gorgeous. It's more of a champagne, but still has like silver reflectiveness in it, and you can see it. Ugh, throwing things. There is a touch of fallout on my cheeks. I can, I just saw that, but not like an overwhelming amount. All right, so this is pre-mascara. I'm gonna go off camera, do mascara, and then we're gonna come back and see it. I love it. I'm, I'm very excited with how this eye look turned out. I'm so excited. Uh, I was not expecting to love it as much as I do, but I really do. I really like I really like this palette. Okay, let me do some mascara. Let's see how it looks. All right, so this is the final look. I love it. I am much happier with how today's look turned out than yesterday's look. I didn't hate yesterday's look. I just was kind of underwhelmed with it. I really like this palette. In the ranking system, we've got three more to do eyeshadow palette wise, but I'm gonna have to rank so far Rock at first and Pop at second. We'll see how the other ones fall in line. It's like March Madness, but with the eyeshadow palettes. So like, get your brackets ready y'all. But yeah, I really like it. I'm I'm very excited about this eye, uh, eye look and I think that there's a lot more you can do with it. I mean, obviously you don't have to use every color in it. I think there's a lot you can do just using the red and the grays or the black and the grays or any combination of the six colors that you have here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you guys a good idea of uh, this little palette. Obviously with only six colors, then it does make it a little bit steeper in terms of price point when you're looking at buying a palette. I typically try and type happen there. I typically try to go for palettes that are at least 12 shades, but I think it's well worth it um, for this, this little guy at least. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that. Like I said, we are going to be posting these videos for the rest of the week. Uh, we have the, the unboxing of it, and then we've got the pop one already up. This is the second one. We've got three more to go. So definitely join the Dark Angel family so that way you can see the entire series. And other than that, I hope you guys all uh, have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.